Hi everyone. I'm happy to share with you our recent work, understanding and simplifying architecture search in spatial temporal graph neural networks. This work has just been accepted by AutoML Conference 22.3 and Transactions on Machine Learning Research the same year. This is a joint work with Professor Chen Yao, Yong Li from Tsinghua University, and Professor Chang Yang from Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. Spatial temporal prediction challenges us to forecast with additional spatial information besides multivariate time series. It has various applications in, for example, traffic prediction, COVID, pandemic, and molecular dynamics, etc. There are many applications related in traffic services such as mobility, delivery, and maps that require us to have a precise spatial temporal forecaster. The forecasting problem can be formulated as below. We have a graph G of node set V and H set E. We have adjacent matrix A of shape N by N. In addition, we have a temporal graph signal tensor X of shape T by N by D. Here, T is the total number of steps, and D is the number of signals that we record at each time step. The spatial temporal prediction task asks us to find a good predictor F that could predict the future Q step of X based on the past P steps of X. In our work, we want to study the relation between the forecasting quality and the architecture choice. As a result, we formulate into a bilevel optimization problem. The outer level, um, the we pro provide an additional alpha, which encodes the architecture. Note that here, the architecture is sampled from a certain distribution parametrized by theta. So once a uh, an, an architecture is sampled, the inner optimization problem solves the standard training, i.e. Uh, train the architecture until convergence and uh, we test the forecasting accuracy. There has been tremendous literature since 2018. Two notable works, DCRNN and STGCN, uses graph neural networks. Since then, many papers have followed this setting. In 2021, two AutoML works, AutoSTG and AutoCTS, uses AutoML to uh, design the architecture automatically. To study the relationship between the forecasting quality and the architecture choice, we need to take a step back and revisit the existing literature architectures. As shown in this figure, we put some notable works and the recent automail work into uh, the same architecture we can find that most of them are just a compilation of temporal modules and the spatial modules in a certain way with additional um, and optional residual connections. As a result, we propose a unified framework that uh, allow very flexible design choices, including different spatial design choices for each module and uh, op optional um, residual connections from anywhere to anywhere. With the help of the unified framework, we identify two issues that exist in current literature. The first one is there is no consideration of hyperparameters. As a consequence, the evaluation of different model configurations are biased because we cannot find the optimal hyperparameters um, for each model choice and often in the literature we uh, in, we heritate the same uh, hyperparameter choice for different architectures 
the solution to this issue is simple. We just consider hyperparameters into account. However, the way to take hyperparameter choices into the uh, same uh, architecture choice will make the search space significantly larger, which leads to our second issue, which is um, there is already too large a search space for current AutoML solutions or neural architecture search. As a consequence, the search results cannot be satisfactory because the search, the search strategy could not find a good enough search candidate in the large search space. The solution to this is we need to incorporate our understanding as a prior knowledge into the search space to reduce the space size such that we could uh, find a good enough space for our uh, following search strategy. Our work uh, take these two solutions into uh, one unified strategy by uh, taking into account the hyperparameters and with different understanding as prior knowledge. The first part is the hyperparameter study. We summarize different hyperparameters and their original scope as in the literature, but it is very large and we need to reduce this scope by uh, ranking distribution as in our study. For example, in the case of figure A, learning rate, we iterate each choice of the learning rate like uh, 1e minus 5 until 1e minus 1, but keeping all the other hyperparameters sampling from a certain distribution, whatever it is uh, uh, discrete or continuous. So we have a distributional performance by a ranking strategy, as by this distri distributional empirical study, we can see that 1e minus 3 is a uh, overall best one. So this is the rankings distribution to reduce the original scope of each hyperparameters. As in the uh, spatial temporal architecture choice, we consider two very specific um, design choices, which is the spatial temporal module order and the escape connection which have not been very carefully studied in the literature. To study spatial temporal module order, we want to establish a connection between the order and the final performance. In our study, we propose two proxy measures, which is the number of spatial or temporal modules and the number of inversions of a module sequence. With, this, with the help of these two measures, we study um, the performance of each architecture by counting their number of T and number of inversions as in the Y axis and X axis, at, as you can see in figure B and C. With tremendous um, sampling of the architecture performance, we can see that a cherry region triangle somewhat appear um, universally in the in different strategy uh, in different data sets so we summarize summarize this cherry region as in figure a fortunately we have similar patterns for the study of a spatial temporal skip connection here we propose two other measures which is number of paths from the input node to output node as in the direct directed acyclic graph, and the second one, average shortest length to, of each node to the output node. Again, we put them into the x-axis and the y-axis and the sample tremendous architectures, and we find another triangle appear with some, as summarized in the figure A. So these two cherry region triangles show that with architectures located in these triangles, they are good architectures 
as by our empirical distribution study. And uh, these are our prior knowledge of the search space, which could be used further to reduce the search space for improving efficiency. To further showcase our findings, we put all these understandings into a simplified but very strong baseline. So a um, space of temp spatial temporal order in the clip is first sampled, and we have a simple check uh, whether it is in the Chero region. If yes, we keep sampling the hyperparameters and different uh, designs for each temp each module. This is um, you know uh, performed on a typical data set. Afterwards, um, this um, good candidate will be um, evaluated on different data sets um, to show that it is very general um, architecture that can be that can perform well on various data sets. So we perform our search on only one of the data set PMS08 and use the same architecture for all three data sets. We show that even in this case, our uh, searched architecture performs either the best or the second best um, among all the um, baselines. And especially notably for auto CTS, which is a work on AutoML as well, it searches for each data set a different architecture, which is very time consuming. Again, so this is this shows our search architecture has a very general generalized uh, performance across different data sets. The search efficiency can be further illustrated by the figure as here. Um, with limited search rounds, our search strategy, with the help of prior knowledge, achieves significantly better results than the raw space. To conclude, we consider hyperparameters to debias the mode evaluation. Our work consider the patterns in spatial temporal order and routing and establish a connection with respect to spatial temporal uh, forecasting. Besides, our work proposes a general preprocessing pipeline to understand architecture in a distributional way, and we believe the methodology we use here could be easily extended to other domains.